Hey. Yeah, he's, he's definitely a smart little lizard, I can tell you that. Finally, 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 we are doing an update that many of you guys have been waiting for. Today, I'm giving you guys the full update on everybody's favorite green tree monitor, Varanus Prasinus Sabzi. Alright guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. Let's get right into this. You guys have been asking and it's been a while since we've done an update on Sabzi. So today I'd like to go over a few things. First, his growth and how he's been doing. And secondly, the taming and training that I've been doing with him. This guy is easily the most inquisitive and intelligent reptile I've ever kept in my life. And with that being said, I'd like to ask you guys for today's question of the day, what is the smartest reptile you've ever owned or currently own? And if you'd like, feel free to share a small story of an example of that intelligence in action. I'd love to hear about it. And as always, I'll give your comment a heart and we'll engage in a little bit of a conversation. And if you enjoy content pertaining to specialty pets, such as reptiles, amphibians, and cool kinds of invertebrates, definitely consider subscribing down below afterwards and dinging that notification bell so that you don't miss one of my future uploads. I upload videos every Tuesday and Friday. And don't forget to give Sabzi a thumbs up because he's such a sweet little guy. I mean, he's not that little you're about to see. He's grown a lot. Friends, you'll remember that I adopted Sabzi when he was one month old back in April of this year. It's hard to believe he's already pushing nine months of age and has at least tripled in size. As his owner, I see and interact with him every single day, so sometimes it's really hard to notice the growth and changes going on with him. However, my friends remind me every time they see him how big he's getting. Thankfully, I'm also a YouTuber after all, so filming his life every week also helps me visually document the growth that I'm not seeing. <laughs> Yo, he's the coolest. You're gonna jump to the half? You're gonna do it. Yeah? Yeah, we're, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it, no? What are you doing? You gonna go up? You gonna He's go up? checking things out. Hey buddy. Where are you going now, dude? For those of you who aren't aware, Green Tree monitors reach an average adult size of 3.5 feet in length. A few weeks ago, I had the exciting opportunity to visit Brandon, owner and operator of Canadian Cold Blood, who is actually the breeder that produced Sabzi. It was during this tour that we got to meet Sabzi's parents. This is actually Sabzi's mother. This is another Varanus Prasinus. This is a male. Uh, and this is actually Sabzi's father. And that experience really put into perspective how large this little dude is going to get and how much growing he is yet to do still. These animals usually mature fully between two and a half and three years of age. When it comes to eating, Sabzi is so enthusiastic about food. He loves chasing crickets, and these make up the stable of his diet. I'm all about offering an enriching and varied diet for my animals, however Sabzi can be a bit picky. He refuses to eat superworms, butterworms, hornworms, waxworms, and mealworms, but thankfully will happily accept crickets, silkworms, quail eggs, pinky mice once or twice a month, as well as canned locusts as a treat. Sure, that's a pretty varied diet, but I'd love to add more variety to it. I'm told by a few experienced keepers that neonate and juvenile tree monitors can be a bit picky, but that usually changes and they open up to accepting new types of prey as they age, so I guess we'll see what happens. Finally, the most rewarding aspects of owning these animals is interacting with them. Tree monitors are incredibly intelligent and inquisitive reptiles. It is my belief that they actually recognize their owners. 
I've really taken the time to put in the effort to tame Sabzi and get him comfortable around me. You can see some of the methods I've implemented in my efforts by following the top right corner link. Using food as motivation, patience, and a lot of consistency, Sabzi is completely tame. He doesn't fear me in the slightest and actually wants to come out when I enter my reptile room. We've been working on some tricks too which is a lot of fun. I've been tapping my leg to get him to hop onto it. If he performs the task immediately after being prompted by the tapping, he receives a cricket. Let's see. Tabsy. Good boy. See, now he's looking around like that because he expects that there's a reward for him. Tabsy. Hey, where are you going? It's over here. Woo! <laughs> There is some work to be done there, but he's actually getting it, which to me is just so cool. Sabzi. Come here. Sabzi. <laughs> Good boy. Knowing what this animal is capable of cognitively, I try my best to take him out every day and also offer him puzzles or toys to interact with. These include his swinging ball that he picks crickets out of, and I actually place it on the ground where he plays with it on the floor like a ball. Watch out FIFA, Sabzi's coming for the World Cup. Sabzi, you can play it this soon. Just chill, buddy. He's hilarious. Here he comes. Yeah. I don't have anything for you. Look, I mean, already he's so curious. Oh! I also offer Sabzi a straw nest and place a few crickets in it, which conveniently stay put because of the false sense of security. He loves the nest, and I think that has a lot to do with the texture and scent, more so than just the fact that there is prey hidden inside it. Imagine being a monitor lizard that actively uses its tongue to sense prey and interact with its environment. Things in an enclosure would get pretty boring after a while, which is why I believe new scents alone are engaging and stimulating for these curious animals. As far as what the future holds, I'm planning to start building Sabzi his final or adult sized enclosure, but more on that later. For now, you can expect to see Sabzi in future content such as silkworm feeding videos and other updates. Well everyone, there you have it, a small update on the amazing Sabzi. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to support this channel, I have merch available as well as a Patreon page linked down below in the description. With that all being said, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and as always, I look forward to seeing you all in another video again soon. See you all on Tuesday and take care. If you'd like to see more videos pertaining to Sabzi, check out my Green Tree Monitor playlist up above.